show you how to do the glitch effect. I have my footage. I picked it out. I cut it. It's ready to go. First, you go to File, all the way down to Properties. It brings up your Properties thing, which sometimes it p brings up when you're doing a new video. So I could you could edit it then, or you could edit it later. Go to Stereoscopic 3D Mode, and you go to Anaglyphic. You can do all these three different colors, but I prefer red and cyan. Apply. Okay. Now, our issue is that the colors look desaturated. So what we're going to do is we're going to resaturate them. Go to Video FX, and go to Saturation Adjust, and you go to Default. And you put the low all the way back up. So now it's resaturated. Cool. Now for the glitch effect. We're gonna we're gonna insert video track and I'm gonna cut out the footage I wanna use for this. So I wanna use the exact middle. This I don't really think has to be saturated, but mm, that's how I do it. You go to mask, and you click on this square thing. Now I know the older versions of Sony Vegas, you don't have that, so you could just draw squares, but I'm going to show you using the square. Now we start frame by frame. Well, not frame by frame. You only have to do this once. Keep doing that until you get all the way to the bottom. And you just move the zoom and crop around. Get a good feel for it. See how it looks like really glitchy? Now time to add the three D adjust. You go to default, throw it on either the top or the bottom. I don't think it really matters as long as it's on there. And do an adjust to it. So you could do a horizontal off effect and that would be fine. Or you could do a vertical effect and that would be fine. Well, either way, all you have to do is a horizontal or vertical. It's uh, honestly up to you. Like, I do that and it works fine perfectly. And yeah, that's the glitch effect.